Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready to paint this cute little family of snowmen? <laughs> I love this one. So I hope you've downloaded your traceable for this one. It can be found on the members, all levels of the YouTube and Patreon. And uh, we'll get painting this. This is a beginner friendly one. It's not that difficult. Just a minute. This is a um, beginner friendly one. And that I tried this one what, yesterday. I was going to film it. <laughs> and then my camera didn't. Uh, work properly for it so I'm doing it again so I thought I would do it on in a book this time you can do yours on a canvas on a piece of mixed media paper watercolor paper whatever you have and you can make it to whatever um, colors you want to so this is the traceable that you will get and you can download that one and uh, trace it onto your Substrate, make sure you have a, a gesso already put on. And we're going to be doing a red truck again. I just like red trucks. And we're going to put a background that is um, daylight. I'm just rubbing off some of this uh, tracing. Sometimes uh, it wherever you press with your hand, you'll get some of that. You can just erase it. Uh, this is the, uh, what do you call it? Um, Sorrel, I think they call it, tracing paper. Okay, so we're gonna start from the back and work our way forward. So I have my brushes already here for uh, what I'm gonna be using. I have uh, water, paper towels, and I have my reference. Uh, if you want, you could take a screenshot of this and use that. And the paints I am using today are craft paint, because I like using craft paint for practice. Uh, if I'm going to be doing it on a canvas, then I'll put, I'll use a uh, artist grade. So we're going to have a red truck. So I have here some tomato red by Americana. I have white um, marigold or magnolia white. I have uh, nightfall blue. Black. Dioxazine purple and um, dark marigold or goldenrod, sorry, dark goldenrod or even an ochre would do. So if you want to find those colors, if you're going to follow along with the colors that I'm doing, those are what we're, we're working with. So not a whole lot of colors. If you want to change your, your truck into a different color, by all means, you can do that. I also work on just these coffee lids um, for my palette. You can work on a palette paper or whatever you have. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, it's a cute one, a little family. And I made the little baby <laughs> in the, in the um, drawing. This is a license that I picked up drawing and they had a package you could put a package or a present on there if you wanted to I thought I would put the little baby on because when snow when you're building a snowman you start off with a snowball right <laughs> so that's that's a snowball it's a baby it makes sense <laughs> okay 
So let's start off with uh, background. Now I want to do it kind of, the other one I had more of a daytime. Um, this time I'm going to have a little bit more on the nighttime. So we're going to use this uh, nightfall blue that I have. And we can add a little bit of uh, the white to it if you want to lighten it. Put a little bit of white with this. Hey, Kathy. You can uh, download this one, Kathy. It's already up on the uh, community page. Make it whatever you want. So I'm going to paint around my stuff. So I want a little darker on the top. So we're going to paint around the truck and the whatever else. I think it's just a truck that we have to worry about. Uh, the inside windows of the truck will be a little bit lighter. Um, this is the top part of the hat, the pom-pom. I'm going to just paint right over that because it's easier that way. So you can do that. Nothing too crazy about uh, putting the background on. If you want to put trees on, by all means, add trees. Make it yours. You can change this up however you want. Uh, I'm going to probably have the snow stop about here. And then the sky will be... I'm adding it a little bit lighter just as I go um, down towards the snow because the snow would uh, give off a little bit of light because it's so bright at night. It's almost like having a full moon. So you can put some more white in there. You can have clouds too. Sometimes you see clouds. Or if you want to put a moon in, you could put a moon in. I'm going to have snow, so if you're going to have snow, you don't normally see uh, clouds. I'm just going to go um, crisscross for now. And if there's, um, if you find that there's too much as far as uh, brush marks. You could use a soft uh, mop brush and just whisk it when it starts to dry. And that way uh, it just softens those brush marks. I'll show you in a minute. Just want to take some of that. So a big mop brush, a lot of people use the um, makeup brushes. It has to be a fairly soft brush. And then you just basically go over your, your wet surface lightly. And it'll soften those brush marks. There's not a lot to do there. And then you just brush that off. Might want to... Just wet it to get rid of some of that off. And then you can dry that. Uh, we're also going to do a lighter uh, area in the vehicle. So just so that it still looks like nighttime, but a little bit lighter. I'm going to go over top of the pom-pom again, the hat, just because it's easier. If you have uh, brush marks on this one, though, I'm not too worried about it because it'll probably uh, be to your benefit because then we can use those brush marks to make it look like um, it's the glass.
Okay. So what, you can go on an angle and brush it so it kind of looks like glass. If you, if you don't get it right on, don't worry too much about it because we're going to be putting um, the truck in so you can go back over. This is the pickup back. So you're seeing the, the um, night sky behind the truck. Um, we can put a little bit of that white in the front here where the front window is, the windshield. And it's a little bit of a I don't think you need to put too much as far as um, let's see. I want it fairly dark just so that you can recognize the difference. So I'm going to put a little bit Okay. Now we can do the snow too. Um, the snow is going to be uh, more white with a little bit of purple in it and blue. Very small amounts of purple and blue. Mostly white, so you want to get a big chunk of white. dab a little bit on your brush for the purple. It's a, it's a very strong color, so you don't have to put too much in there. You just want a little bit on the mauve side. And a little, let's see, we'll see what this blue does. Yeah, that's not bad. Put a little bit more. I kind of want it on the, more on the purpley blue side. Okay. And we can just go all over your snow area with some of this purple, purpley blue. And you can mix up too. You don't have to have it all just one color because snow, once you step on it, it's going to leave shadows and there's going to be highlights from the light of the reflection so you can add mix it up uh, that's inside here where the little sleigh is that might be a little bit darker so maybe you want to add a little bit more uh, blue to that just to give it a little bit of a shadow And around the ski. Might be a little bit of blue. Um, in the areas around these snowmen. So you can darken those areas up. And use the brush that you feel comfortable with. Um, there's no reason why you have to use a brush that you're not comfortable with because then you'll have problems painting. So if you like uh, a round brush instead of a flat, use that. Snow is very uh, uneven when it's been trudged upon. so. It's not going to matter as far as uh, how smooth it looks. Snow's not normally all that smooth looking. And there's there's all kinds of um, holes and that type of thing from the snowmen. I don't know if they'd be walking, but trudging around, rolling around maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, they don't. Yeah, they got little feet. I guess they would be trudging around. 
So it's the underneath of the vehicle here. And I'm going to add a little bit of a darker color around that because it would be cast in shadow. So let's put a little bit of blue and purple to that mix. A bit more blue. And let's see. Just go around your little friends here. Like that. Um, this is just a base coat too. So don't worry about getting it perfect right now. You add to it. Hey Kim. Yeah, it's cute. I really liked it. <laughs> it's actually a, from, I've cropped it from the original. Um, so there's actually a whole end of the truck with people and animals and trees in the back of the truck. Um, but to get this done at a reasonable time, <laughs> I, I had to uh, minimize what I was going to paint. All right, so let's dry that up and then we'll start doing the truck. So like I said, uh, in the beginning of this, if you're wanting to paint this, I do have a traceable for all levels on my Patreon and my YouTube membership. And there's links below in the description. If you don't see it, press more and it'll show you the link. enough for now. All right, so let's do this truck. Now the reason why I didn't paint the whole background first and then put the drawing on top of the background was because red is a very transparent color. It doesn't matter what type of red you're using in um, craft or artist grade, it seems to be a very transparent color. So I wanted a white background. So that's why we're painting over it. Now this one is tomato red. We'll see how this one goes on. I think I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller brush putting this one on though. Let's see, I think this one will do. And we want to paint basically all of the, the truck. So don't worry about going um, over the lines. We can put them in. Uh, if you have your traceable, that is, will be your reference for when we um, do some shading of those uh, lines. So like the car door opening, that type of thing. A nice bright red truck for Christmas. So if you have any questions, you can put it in caps and that way I'll be able to see it a little better. 
we'll go around the ears of the rabbit and the arm of the snowman. And you might want to put a couple coats so you don't see the uh, brush marks. It's up to you. I'm just going to try and do one, but we'll see how. Okay, there's the... Just trying to see where everything is. There's a little side view mirror there that we can put in. It's It'll be chrome. And this here. Might need to put the mirror back in. That's okay. You, if you just put one coat of the red on, you probably will be able to see your lines. Like uh, as far as your drawing lines, which would be good. And you don't have to worry about your traceable. Putting it back in or whatever. Just take your time, have fun with it. You can make your truck whatever color you want. <laughs> this would be cute for any winter painting. It doesn't have to be Christmas. You could change the color of the truck if it's too Christmassy looking. Do it green or blue or whatever. Okay. And this part here is snow. So don't paint that. I thought it would be kind of cute just to do this part of the truck. Most paintings you see shows the uh, all of the truck usually. And I wanted to have more emphasis on the little snowman. So I thought this was a good one to do. A little different than what you're seeing out there. Hey, Barbara. The wheel well goes down. I'm going to go into that baby's hat. Just so that it's a little easier. And it's going to be dark anyways, that baby hat. So it's going to be the gray and black and white. You can make your scarves and hats all different colors. You don't have to uh, stick with the colors that I've chosen. Okay, I think I've had this just a bit down there. I think it looks good. All right, so simple, simple. OK, 
Okay, so then we want, um, let's do some of the black. There's not much. Um, the black is basically just a tire here. So we can put that in. Um, did I put black out? No. I'm going to put black on the other palette. So some black. Let's paint in this tire. Uh, let's see. And this tire, this tire has white walls. <laughs> Gotta have white walls, eh? On your truck. And right on the very bottom here is also part of the tire. It's kind of peeking through between the uh, sleigh. use um, the right brush that will help you do that. Okay. Oh, I forgot the door. <laughs> forgot the door. door handle no bunny ears go around them around the scarf Like so. All right. Okay. Now we can probably let's paint in the snowman. So the snowman, I have that magnolia white. And we'll paint him in with the white, just the white for now. So just base coat him. I gotta make sure I got all the red out of that brush. I don't want him pink. Make sure you get the brush clean enough to use that in the red. <laughs> you don't want a pink snowman. All right. So we can do his face. Now I put a, a coat of gesso on here, so I could just leave it for gesso because it's white. I'll put this on anyways. Just there's a few marks in it, but it's a little different than the uh, gesso color. Slightly warmer. Gesso's got a little bit of a a blue tinge to it. Nothing crazy. It's 
nice little arm there. Bunny ears. The bunnies are white too. So this is very, very quick, guys. Like anyone can do this one. Very, very simple. Be a cute card. You could do this in watercolor too. It would be awesome. I went right over his face, um, his eyes and everything. I can still see through the paint a little bit. And that's fine. I'm not worried about that. If I go on the little bunny too, I'm not too worried about that. Because he's white also. So you could actually do the bunnies while you're at it. And we'll, uh, well uh, add the fuzzies and stuff to them later. We just want um, base coat right now. Just to get a, a color on this. Uh, you could also, if you have some really nice uh, scrapbook paper, you could do, like maybe you have Christmas paper that's got a cool background. You could use that background and just trace this on top of it. That would be a, a really cute way of doing it, too. I've done that before. Or you could um, print on your, instead of having to trace it, you could actually print it on there with your laser printer or jet, inkjet. You don't have to do it. <laughs> All right, so uh, the white, I guess I should do this too. So his white wall tires have to be done. Okay. Oh, and I forgot. There's a little rim of red that goes on the uh, hubcap. So I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a number 111, cotton 11. No, number four, sorry. Okay, so we can put that in there. On his hubcap. Fancy hubcaps. You just have to paint around his little mitt there. Or hand. I guess it's his, it's his hand. He hasn't got mitts on. Like that. Okay. And let's dry that up and we'll put some shadows on them. You want it good and dry if you don't want to lift the paint when we're doing the shadows. All right, 
So when we're doing the shadows, we want to use a uh, flat brush. Um, I would say, depending on the area you're going to be putting it on, could be this size. This is a number 12 flat. What we want to do is, uh, well, maybe even smaller than that. Let's see. Is this one smaller? Nope. I want it in between size. Let's see. I must have one somewhere. If that will work. And that's a bit too small. Hmm. What's this one? This is a three eighths. It's a little bit smaller. So this is a three eighths angle shader. So we want to go around. The tops of the hats and partially underneath is the the chin and then under the scarf and uh, around the scarf in kind of a purple gray color so you can take out uh, your dioxazine purple and we can put a little bit of black to it and mix a nice shading color so it's a little on the purple side but it's, it's kind of dulled down okay and then what you want to do is with the one side of your paintbrush, you want to load that up. So one side. And then what you do is you go back and forth. Let's see, in an area that doesn't have paint. Just to get that mixed in. So back and forth. You got to have a little bit of water on your brush. Not a lot, though, because then it would be... Um, it would just mix through the whole thing. And then the, sh the area that has to be shaded is the um, area on your paintbrush that has the paint. So uh, on the top here, that's a little bit too, just have to test it. And then just follow that line. And it'll shade a nice gradation and then along the bottom here like that and this one has a little bit down the side here going towards the, the bird and then this guy you might have to reload your brush you can test it out before if you want. Uh, this one's a little bit lighter. Uh, it's all right, I guess. And then this one just has a little bit on the bottom here. Like that. And then on the bottom of the scarf, can do the same thing like that along the side of the scarf the bottom and then right in here it's fairly dark I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush to paint that in there. OK, 
Okay, and then on the sides of, of his arm here, he, along the body, will be darker. And if, you, if it's not working out, you can always paint back over it. Or before it dries, you can always remove it with a, a baby wipe. So I've got a clean brush here. I could always just remove some of it with a, a clean brush. If you want to brighten it up a little bit. We could always put white paint back on too. Okay, so I'm going to load my brush back up with that color. Where did it go? Okay, where? Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. Okay, so a little bit more again. Swipe it back and forth. And along the bottom of his body here, be dark, and his shoe or foot. <laughs> that. On the top. And along it, um, okay, this is his arm here, like that. On the top of his arm. bit on there and his body there it's gonna add it's fairly dark there so I'm just gonna add some dark darks here that um, underneath here his body's pretty dark. So let's load my brush up again. So he has some under here. And along the side of his body. Ooh, what do I got there? Too much on my brush. Gotta reload. Take that away. It's easy to fix. Like that. the long edge of his body here by the bunny rabbit. That. And along the side of the bunny. Like that. And a bit here. All right. So that's, see how easy it is? And don't worry about if you're finding it's too um, dark 
we can lighten this too. So I'll show you how you lighten it with a little bit of uh, white. Okay. So we have some white here. Another bit of white. So if you find you've put too much in areas, you can do the same thing, but just use white on the tip of your brush now. And you can go in and lighten areas. And it will still show some of it, but it will be a little lighter. So you just go over those areas with the white if you find they're, they were too dark. Like that. So it's, there's no, um, like, I'm going to throw the page out. It's fixable. Let's brighten up some of this area in here. It's face. Don't mind some of that, but I want a little bit lighter in there just so that his face is a, a little bit brighter. Top of his arm and maybe his belly here would be a little bit brighter. You could actually, this was a magnolia white. I could actually use a bright white to make this a little brighter. Easy fix. All right, so those, oh, I got to do the baby. I forgot the baby. Okay, let's add a little bit of that color again. And the same thing all around the edge. Top of his hat and underneath. That. Let it dry a little bit and then we can lighten an area. All right, so we can do um, a little bit of this also with the, tr the tire here where the white walls are. A little bit of black on the bottom. And on the inside where that uh, red is, just go around that area with that black. Okay. And then a little bit along where the, the arm of the snowman is too. And then bring it out, just wisp it out a little bit. It's kind of like dirty white walls. <laughs> he didn't clean his tires properly. And just sweep it. Like that. And a little bit darker. Let's see. Under here. Kind of have to paint around the little sleigh. Don't want it too dark though. It's gonna look like the tire. All 
Great. Now, also, the um, bumpers are chrome, so we're going to add a little bit of that black on the edge of our brush again. And it'll be a dark color on the bottom part. It's kind of like dry brushing. And then just a little bit on the, like that. And also the, the headlight on the top part, just do a little bit of sweeping strokes. Like that. Alrighty, and then we also have to do the chrome around the um, side windows, the vent window. So we can put a little bit on the tip of my brush. And it's so small amount. And kind of take as much water off as you can, because you kind of want to dry brush this. Um, And then this here. And then there's a little, I'm going to take a little bit of white. This is the side um, mirrors. There's a little chrome. mark right there and then that is where it, I guess I had that on an angle you have to play with that a little bit straighten it up and take a little bit more white on my just the very tip of my brush hardly hardly anything and then just put a little bit of white on that black and then there's a little bit on the window also, the front window. Ever so slightly. Okay. And there is a little um, wiper. I'm just going to lay my brush down like that. Here's the door handle. A little bit of black on the tip. Like that. And let's put some black on the top here. So I just put a little tip of black on there and then drag it down. I still have white on my brush, so it's mixing. That way you get a two-toned. That. And it's easy enough to do. So give it a try. You can always repaint it too if it's not working out. Um, All right, and now I can take, if you have a brush that's a little stiffer, 
You could also use that for dry brushing. If you're finding your brush is not giving a dry brushed effect, try a stiffer brush. Um, so something with a bristle would work a little better. Even a little fan like this is fairly stiff. Mm. So you just put a little bit on the edge of your brush. So I want to put a little bit of uh, dry brushing on the truck on the top. Right here. And along the top part there. And down the side. Just like that. And maybe a smidgen right here. Like that. Across here. And I'm going to put a little bit on the running board too. Very simple. All right, let's take that brush we did again and we'll we'll um, put in some darker areas on the truck, so shading areas. So we're just going to use uh, the same method, but with a little bit of black on our tip of our brush. And wherever the uh, door panel and cap is, we want to put a line down. Now, if you're having problems, practice before you put it on your paper. Okay. So that's the wheel well, basically. I guess it could go in a little more. That. Up. And then there's uh, the door. That. Across here. Put a little bit more water to my brush. Right in here. Down the I'm just going to go up a little bit on the back there. And then there's this door opening here. Take it to there. And a little the, where the hood opens. And in here. And down in here. This is kind of all, because it's the front, it's shaded a little bit, it's, it's inset. So you can kind of dry brush a little bit over the whole area in one direction. I'm going to make a little bit darker along the light. 
And right in here, between the two, we had two bumpers here. That will be darker. And you want to add a little bit under the snow. It's sitting on the Take my brush first. So right under the snow here. It's a little bit darker. And along the edge of the snowman. You can put a little bit in there. And I'm going to make uh, along the edge of the snowman between the two of them uh, right in here a little darker. So because it would be shadowed. And then you can just fix fix things up by just taking your brush, wet brush, and scrubbing a little bit. It doesn't take much. In a little bit. I don't want that bright. Okay. A little bit more in here along the it's a little bit dark. Right in here, along the edge of the bunny ear and the scarf, be darker. Like that. In here. And then the lines on the running board would be darker. So you can just take and draw those in basically. I think I'm gonna draw this door panel into where the door opens. Ooh, a little bit wonky. He might have a dent in his truck. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a little bit shadowed in here. I think this is too bright. Um, so I'm gonna shadow that in. Like that. Alrighty, looking good. Um, I need a little bit of black there. Mm, let's see, I'm going to put a little bit more on the bottom of that. And I think the door handle is fine. And I'm going to just fix up a little bit of red around the that um, side view mirror, just to give that shape a little more definition. It's 
better. That. All right. So that's done. So let's get that a good dry and then we'll start doing some of the scarves and stuff. All right, the scarves takes a little time because of the pattern that I've used. So you don't have to do this. If you want to just do stripes, you can do stripes. I thought this was cute. So I'm going to be doing the, um, the shapes. So what we want to do is for the base coat, we want to make a gray. So you want to take your white and add some white or black to it. Here's my brush. So my black here. And just add bits at a time. So we want kind of a dark charcoal gray almost um black but what a fair amount so i want a nice dark color almost black but not quite that's good all right, so then you're going to take your brush and paint in your brims this color, all one color. And you can make it um, wavy on the bottom by the face because the cable stitch would be uneven. This is uh, the easier way of doing this. It's very simple. It's just about using your paintbrush properly. And what type of paintbrush. And you can do the scarf too. It'll be done the same way. Now I can see from my reference how the scarf is, so I'm just painting over um, all the scarf area in one color. And then I'll just refer to my pattern, traceable, on how that goes. Paint around the bunny ears.
So a very easy uh, painting to do for beginners because it's more or less base coats and then a little bit of detail on top with highlights and shadows. So not all that difficult. And the tracing's done for you, so you don't have to worry about drawing it. You could change it too, um, if you want. Maybe you don't want the bunnies in it, or maybe you want gifts on there, or a Christmas tree. Add things to it. Uh, maybe she'll be holding a present instead of a bird. She's holding a bird. I think I'm going to make it a cardinal this time, though, because I don't think the chickadee stands out enough. So I'm going to paint around the bird. Change the bird up. Like so. And, oh, don't forget our little baby. So he's got, he or she has the same hat. Okay. And then I'm going to put um, the pom-poms in too. So I'm just going to flick on the top. Okay. Might not show as much on the night sky part, but we'll add highlights to it. So don't worry too much about that. And same with this little. person or baby. All right. Now we're done with the base coat of that. Now the, the base coat of the hat, top part of the hat, is a little bit lighter. So I want you to add a little bit of white to that dark mix. Kind of get a medium gray color. and paint the top of your hat that color. If it's streaky, that's even better. Okay. So it's a little bit different than your bottom and pom pom. Uh, I'm just going to put a little mark on the top of his hat here just to show the 
it's kind of on the top. Okay, so while that is drying, we'll add some fur to these bunnies. So you can get a stiffer brush again, and we're going to add uh, gray, the same gray, that medium gray, to our bunnies. So around the tail, the little puff tail. Uh, you can put some of this gray to so lightly just flick it. This is very, very simple. And then just a few little on the very bottom little marks. And then um, the medium or darker gray, you can do a little bit of that color on the very bottom of his puffy tail here. And then just along the top part of his, or the back of his um, bum, that and a little bit on um, his ears here just roughly doesn't have to be a lot just, it's kind of a rough look you can wipe some of that off I want it dry brush more or less and then just along the one side Just bring a little bit of that in there. And if you get too much, then just take your white and go over it. Um, this is a little bit dark, went in thick. So let's take a little bit of white and we'll just go back over it. But, and it just, it helps. If you do layers, I'm going to, I'm going to make his um, feet kind of dark though. I think I want his feet here. Dark. These are his, the backs of his feet, back feet. Could be even darker, actually. It would be dark because he's sit, sitting on them, basically. Let's make them a little bit darker there. All right. Um, what else? I want to take a little bit of red and some white, make some pink. And we'll add that to the inside of his of the ear, just a little bit. Um, sometimes you can see the, just very, very faint though, like extremely pale. A lot of times you can see the pink tinge through their here like that and this guy's got a little bit darker pink because he's facing us like that okay and we can do the same thing with the fur on that little guy. So some medium. Now he's got a little bit more to him. So 
so on the bottom um he's his little paws will be a little bit darker and then kind of over top of his feet and his tummy and you kind of go up the side a little bit and then underneath his little paws his arms would be darker and just very very lightly tapping and then in here fairly dark in the underneath his chin and then a little bit on his cheeks let's see and just by his eye there's a little bit and up his nose and his head by his ear like that crosses tops of his and his ears are a little bit more gray like that i missed a spot with the scarf Let's put that in so we don't get mixed up before my paint dries. Where was it? No, oh, I missed that part of the scarf too. Good heavens. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is scarf area. Like that. And let's put that other scarf area in before it it's too dry on me right in here And right in here. Ah. Cute. And I'm going to put a little bit of dark right in between his paws here it needs to be a little darker right in there just dabbing and under here I'm just gonna take a clean brush and walk it down a little bit Dab. It's a little bit darker in there and under under his little cheeks here a little fuzzy looking and we need to do is I let's make it a little darker underneath them too right in here too much water on my brush down 
in there. Under his feet. His little toes. And I'm going to put a little bit in here. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, I'll let that dry and then we'll come back with some white on that too. Uh, let's put his eyeball in. Where did I put that? Find my there it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Some black. Okay, where did I put that? No, that's my old stuff. I have so many palettes out. <laughs> Where did I put my black? Maybe I used it up. Okay, let's get some more black out. What's this? It's black. And I'm just going to put um, his eyes in. So just a round circle like that and the other one's not facing us so we don't need to worry about him um, I do want to take a little bit of this gray again though as I missed the hub the wheel of the or the, what do you call it? Cap, wheel, up cap. It was right here. And let's see, a little bit dark in here. And this is too bright, so we'll take some of that black into the red just to dull that down because it would be darker because it's shadowed. But you can still see the at that it's red. A little bit shadowed in there. A little bit of white. In there. And then just around the outer edge, a little darker. Like that. All right. So far, so good. Just make that tire a little bit. There. All right, so um, when we're doing 
the scarf. What we want to do is we want to take black and white and we're going to use a small, this is the number four um, round. And we're going to use the shape of our brush to make the shapes of the cable stitch on the hat and the scarf. And it's basically a heart shape. So we dab our, our um, paintbrush in white and then in black. And um, well, let's, I'm going to draw some lines first. So you, this is a good idea. So you don't get um, confused because you can get confused in this and you don't want them too far apart. So let's draw um, lines about a oh, quarter inch maybe apart from each other going around the uh, scarf and the hat. And the hat's got a little bit of a curve to it. So make sure you put that in too. Like that. And the scarf, this is dry. Um, we'll go the opposite direction, of course. And you can make this one um, kind of wonky because they would be overlapping each other. So they're not necessarily going to be all nice and tidy rows, if you know what I mean. And the same with the scarf. This scarf uh, actually comes down like that. And then there's, you got a bunch of um, lines going down. This one, uh, the scarf goes around like this. And then it actually is, looks like it's tied in front. So you'll have a little bit of a different look. And this one has uh, one scarf, part of the scarf over top of the other. So it might have it hidden like this. Okay. So now what we do, and this does take a little bit of time, but just take your time and, and play with it. So you want to dip in your white and then just a little bit in your uh, black. And then you'll start at the top and what you can do, I'm going to do the side first. So what you do is you dab. And you kind of have to play with it because you want a multi um, colors. You don't want them all black or all white. You want to mix. And then once we start on this one, it's kind of like a V, you draw a V down, touching the line you drew. You can turn your brush if you want, if you've got different colors on it, and just keep dabbing onto your paint. And it can be thick, that's fine. And just keep dabbing. So that they're all a little bit different. And that kind of gives you the look of um, two-toned two uh, wool look. You can do this for any color really. Uh, the only thing you have to do uh, when you're using uh, two different colors though is you got to make sure that you're using colors that aren't going to make mud because you're mixing them 
um, a little bit. So you couldn't put, say, green and red together or um, purple and yellow, that type of thing, because you would get a brown. So try and stay on the analogous side of the color wheel. So meaning uh, your blue side or your whatever color you uh, pick, whatever color is beside that color on the color wheel will be uh, analogous. And that way you're not going to get any mud. This is, I really love the look of this. It just gives it a, a really cool effect of cable stitch. Hey, Zandra. And it's easy to do. And if you don't like what you're getting, just go back over top of it with um, another color. While it's wet, you can always add something to it. Ah, oh, Kathy, do you have another channel now too, Kathy Arbor? Yeah, there was, a, I start, I had to start another channel in order to get into YouTube. <laughs> and my channel was hacked. So there is another channel. Um, I haven't, I think I have one video up. Why it, it confused you? <laughs> I'm probably going to take it down because I don't need it now. And I got enough on my plate. I don't need three channels. <laughs> I have a gardening channel too. Yes, I saw the elf and was wondering. Yeah. Oh, you were wondering if I got hacked again? Yeah, I guess I should take that down or people are going to think that. So just do this. It's take it t d this does take a little while to do, but I th I really like the effect it gives. So I think it's worth doing. But like I said, you can um, just do stripes if you wanted to. You don't have to do it this way. But I just I just like the look of it. So I'm, I just keep doing it on an angle. So it's almost like a heart shape or a V that I'm making. Um, and where is Naughty Lena today? <laughs> I don't know. She could be. She wasn't feeling well for a while there. Um, she thought she had the flu. And um, Black, or, um, Black Friday was crazy for her. So they had a ton of orders they had to get done. Which is good. But... Um, she could be resting. I know her hands are bothering her too. Uh, yes, but she is on Santa's night. <laughs> wow, 
why is she on not, um, Santa's naughty list? Is there something going on that I don't know? <laughs> She's funny. I, I saw she put a video up. Okay, so we want to do the same thing on the scarves too. So I have mine all going the same direction as far as the uh, slant. Um, yes, yeah, see her upload today. Oh, <laughs> okay. I will. I didn't know she uploaded anything. Now, uh, the, the, uh, there's a traceable for this one, um, Lean, um, Xandra. I think I put it up on Patreon already. If not, I'll put it up as soon as I'm done here. I'm so confused and what I've done and what I haven't done because I'm trying to repost all my videos on the channel because the hacker took them all down. So that's been a crazy ordeal. Okay. you on there. Oh, I'll have to look. Yeah. It's for all levels, so it'll be up. I'm pretty sure I put it up there. Okay. So the scarf doesn't, it can be a little bit... Um, crazy looking because it would be overlapping and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. It does take a while to do this, but I like the looks of it. I think it's cute. Oh, I should try it with a different color next time. To do this type of thing. So I'm pretty sure it'd be easy enough to do.
you just have to watch how you're doing it. Stay in one. Um, pattern. Don't do uh, don't go in too many directions because then it, you lose the uh, effect that you're getting. I guess I should be putting my paintbrush the other way. You could change, like I said, change it up to how you want to do yours. You don't have to do it exactly like mine. They could be holding all kinds of stuff. It does, as you can see, it does take a while to do this because it's individual little doodads. I think it makes the painting myself. Um, I'm going to rinse my brush. Uh, it's on Patreon. Oh, awesome. Um, yes, I did. Sandra, I got it over the weekend. Oop. Make sure there's not too much water on my brush. You gotta rinse your brush every once in a while because your your brush can get globby and then it doesn't look right. A little bit of a row in here along his chin. Same way. Just play, take your time, don't rush. You don't have to get this done in one day. Take as long as you want. Sometimes I know it looks like I'm painting really fast. Normally, if I, like I did this already um, yesterday, 
I tried to film it. I was going to just do a video, but for some reason it didn't um, record properly. So I took three and a half hours to do this. But it was a good way of learning uh, different ways of, of tackling this. So I didn't mind. It's fun. It's kind of like doodling, but with paint. Uh, thanks, Kathy. You should try it. Look cute for your Christmas journal that you're doing. Kathy has a channel if you're interested in mixed media, collage, product review, do all kinds of stuff. Um, they're on on Tuesdays and, oh, just Tuesdays now. That's right. Uh, you can put your, your link in, Kathy. Xander, you could do that too. Share your links so people can have more awesomeness to watch and learn. Xandra is also mixed media. She has a lot of uh, Jane Davenport products that she reviews and Journals, art journals. So there's numerous, numerous people that do art journaling of some sort. It's such a huge, huge uh, thing. Like, it's just not one medium anymore. It's crossed over into the craft world also. So um, it's a real mix now. And depending on how serious you want to get into your um, creativity, you know, if you want to uh, sell paintings or maybe you just want to have a hobby. There's um, videos for everything now. Now there's Kathy's. Yeah. Share the... I'm all about sharing things and helping the creative flow of people is it i i really believe it's extremely important for people to find their creativity in something um, we were born to be creative and it just helps health wise mentally and it doesn't have to be expensive either um there's so many ways of using um, different supplies in numerous ways. So you don't have to go out and purchase like all of these um, 
art supplies or craft supplies. Because a lot of times uh, the uh, art supplies that you already have, like artist grade, will work for your crafting too. Um, let's put a few on his little baby's hat. <laughs> I like this little one. I'm not going to have it as a cabled stitch because it's kind of on a tilt. So it'll look a little bit different. But we'll put them in. He's got to have some on his hat too. Multicolored. There. Okay, there's the scarves. Now let's do the pom poms. There's so much out there for inspiration. It's so fun. It is exactly, Kathy. Now we can do the same thing with the um, pom poms. So black and white. And what I want you to do is. Uh, you're going to start at the top part, not on the base. So, and you just start flicking in numerous colors, black and white. Along the edge. And then work inwards. So it will mix, but you want that. Work towards the center of the um, hat. And just keep mixing it. Your whites and your... I think my white is starting to dry on me. Okay. And gives you your pom-pom. So how easy is that? And just keep adding black, white, and then you work your way inwards. Like that. And this little guy too. little dabs in there. And there's their hats. Um, it's I don't do it when I'm using um, this small area. I use it when I, I do canvases because I don't you do a canvas all in one day. So I want to keep my mixes. But it's it's too big. It's as big as this page here. And it's too big to put on my um, table here. But yeah, I do love them. But it's just too big for streaming with, I guess you could say. My setup isn't a um, big setup to do that. All right. So now let's do the ribbing. And the ribbing is just going to be a little bit of black on my very edge of my brush here. And I just want to take and go down like that. And this one. So you can um, look at your reference if you want. 
See how they're going? Like that. I'm just going to put a couple in here. Okay. While that is drying, I'm going to take my... Um, I guess I could take the same brush and I want to uh, put the snow in. Now the snow was done with uh, a little bit of purple. Well, that's not, I'm going to have to make some more up because mine dried. <laughs> so snow with a little bit of purple. I think nope, I need purple too. And don't need a lot. So, just a smidgen of purple and a little bit of blue, just a smidge of blue. If I can get it, my blue's drying up too. So, you kind of want a, a nice mm, bluey purple color. And I'm going to put that on the bottom here. So it's just a little bit off color. You can add a little bit more purple in there. Just along the very bottom here, I'm going to put a little bit more purpley blue there. Maybe along the hat. I'm going to wipe my palette. Or not my palette, my brush. And just mix that while it's wet. Like that. And you guys have got to go. Okay. I'll have a fantastic time with Gabby. And the uh, little sleigh here um, can have a little bit of gray. We'll do that while that snow is drying. Uh, we'll just take some of this gray. It doesn't matter um, whatever color you want to make your sleigh. I'm going to make mine a little bit um, lighter, I think. If I can get some. Just a little bit lighter. And paint that gray and then we can come in and put in all the shadows so just base coat it Like that. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then we'll let that dry. I'm going to take a little bit of white on the end of my brush, brush it off a little bit, and I'm just going to put some marks on my windshield here. Just a little bit more, just to show that it's a uh, windshield. Same with this here, I think. A little bit more of a brighter like that. Um, we can make a little bit of red. And I have some um, goldenrod color. I'm going to make um, 
Actually, maybe I'll just do a goldenrod. For the headlight here, just a bit of color to it. Um, it's a white with some goldenrod. I don't want it too dark. And we'll just put the headlight in here. I want a little bit of color, but not much. All right. Oop, I got a dog hair horse. <laughs> um, could put a little bit more. Oh, while we're goldenrod, we can put the little noses in. Or you could use an orange, whatever color you have. This is pretty good for a carrot nose. Cute little noses. You could do, you don't have to do a carrot, you could do coal or just a lump of snow too. Whatever works for you. Okay, Kathy, thanks for coming. All right, so I'm going to take my brown now and I'm going to paint in the eyes. So the eyes are going to be a blue color. So I have some um, blue here. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. I don't want it dark, dark. And Painting the inside of those eyes. That one needs to be a little whiter. That. And this one. If you got a Posca, you could do that too. And this guy's winking. He's got a funny lie. He's winking at the bunnies. <laughs> right. So, yep, yeah, that's dry. So while when that's dry, you're um where is it? Take your brush again. And we're going to add some dry brushing. So a little bit of gray or uh, black, whatever you want to do. And just in the direction that the boards are going, just dry brush a little bit on the tops. Doesn't have to be a lot, just enough to show that there's texture to it. Same with on the ski part. That one would be a little bit darker maybe because it's underneath. that and get a round and 
and one side of the could be a little darker, I guess. Add a little bit of white. And this one, white. The sides are a little bit darker of the thickness. Oop, too much water. The thickness of the wood will show. Ski. And there's cracks or um, openings to the on the wood. So you can put some of those will be a little darker. You can put those in. That. There's a little bit of a dark area in there. I'm going to make a little bit darker in here because it would be it would be sheltered. So it'd be a little bit darker in there. Okay. There. Looks good. All right. Now we can add uh, black marks to the pupils to the eyes. So. If you have a Posca, you can use that. You can always go back over with blue too if you goof up. The mouth, I'm going to use a, a paint marker. So she just has a little smirk on her face. Like 
that. And you can take a, a lighter, even a gray pencil or a marker if you have one. Let's see if I got it. and go around the outer edges of the eye. This is supposed to be gray. Yeah, okay. I gotta make sure I don't, I think it's dry. that it just gives it a little bit of a different uh, it's not as harsh as doing black like that. And then we can put a little highlight on too for the white of the eye. So this one has two, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Same with all of them. One there, there, and this one. I will have one here and one here. Like that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of highlight by dry brushing on the um, the hats. Need a little bit of uh, white on the tops, this part of the hat. So a little bit of white on the tip of your brush, wipe some of it off, and then go down kind of the center. Of your. Brush her hat. That doesn't have to be a lot. Um, you could also put, uh, you need to put some tire um, marks too on the uh, tire. So we could take some gray because the tires are black. Just get some some of that gray mixed up and just put a few uh, marks. It's basically tire tread around like that. Doesn't have to have a lot. You can even take some of it off. So it's kind of muted. That. Um, I'm gonna probably let's see what else can we do here. We want to put some snow on. Uh, let's put a little bit of shading underneath these guys. They need a little bit more, just a smidgen. Let's take a brush again and a little bit of, let's 
see the purple and that blue with some white. And we just want a very slight amount. So on the edge of our brush, basically. So wherever the snowmen are um, sitting, it's going to be darker. So we can add just a little bit more color under there. Even under the bunny. That. And under the uh, little sleigh would have some. And I'm going to put a little bit under the truck, too. Just there. All right. And now we can put some marks for snow. So I'm going to take toothbrush, my white. And I'm just going to Flick it. I want small ones first because they will be um, not enough water on it, I guess. There. A bit more white. a lot but smaller ones and then you can take a fan brush wet it and do the same thing but this time they'll be bigger so and you'll you'll want to um, tap it on something yep, not enough all right now let's dry that and then i'm going to put some uh stencil snowflakes on but we have to dry this first Aren't they cute? Always learning here. Thanks so much, Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. Hi, Maria. Cindy. These are cute. They would make a cute card, so you could take this, scan it, and then uh, print them out on watercolor paper. So what I have here is this old stencil, and I think it's a TCW164 from um, uh, Crafters Workshop. And what I'm gonna, what I was planning on doing is to add some bigger snowflakes. 
but I want to use, I have some of this glitter snow and um, it says use brush sponge palette knife to craft or craft tool to apply. Let dry for 24 hours. Um, I thought it would be kind of cute too. It's kind of a shimmery and we'll use a palette knife because I want it on fairly thick to give it a little bit of a raised effect. So but we want to put them on in a certain way. I don't want them too big either, but I do like um, using this stencil for this. So I thought I could uh, try and put some, let's see, what ones shall I do? Uh, I don't want too big. So we could do um, a variant, variants of color of uh, snowflakes here. So I think I want to do this one here. I like this shape the most. So I think we need, could use one right there. I'm hoping this works. I haven't used this in a long time. So we'll see. We could probably wipe it off, I'm hoping, <laughs> if we don't like it. Like that, and then just take this off. Cool. And a real small one, maybe, maybe right here. And, and they're sp it's supposed to sparkle. We'll see. Maybe one right here. I don't know if you guys have used this stuff before. That. And maybe another one. Well, we could put a big one right here, maybe. Oop, just went over top or off the page, maybe. Hmm. Let's do this one. Right. Here, maybe? Hmm. I think a smaller one. This one here. There. All right. So that has to um, take 24 hours to dry, apparently. Let me just wipe this off before it hardens. Don't want that to wreck the stencil. Um, all right. Well, that one got messed up a little bit, but that's fine. So that's the snow stuff. I don't know if you can get this anymore. I don't know, even know how old it is. We'll see how it works. But uh, it's kind of cool when you can put different things on. Now I can go back and add more to this if I wanted to. But I think it looks good as it is. 
Um, do I see anything else that I need to do? I think it looks pretty good. I think I might add a little bit of purple in here though, just to for this bunny to stand out a little bit. I think he's kind of um, disappearing a little bit in there. So we'll just add a little bit of purple in there. So his ear shows a little bit more. Right in here. There. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's so, and it was so easy to do, guys. I hope you uh, get the downloadable and try it for yourself. There's dozens and dozens of printables for you there. If you want to try and the videos that go with them. Um, A lot of them are on uh, this site, this channel. And if you want a little bit more than what I offer on the channel, you can uh, become a member on Patreon or on the YouTube, and you'll get a whole bunch more stuff to do. Thanks, Kim. Yeah, I think he turned out cute. So there's... The end of that, and the only thing left to do is sign it. Always sign your paintings. I usually just put my initials, and today is the first. Can you believe it? The first. Wow. All right, so I'll let you guys go, and you have a fantastic weekend try and get out your sketchbooks or whatever you're creative in and have some fun with it. And we'll see you on Tuesday and uh, just be creative. It'll feel good and uh, it'll ease your stress. Bye for now, everyone. Take care.